welcome. I hope you're all doing well. So, I was tagged in the Karuna Satori 5 p.m. ASMR challenge, which is when no preparation, no professionalism, just a lo fi ASMR video with what is around you. So, here we are. The only preparation I did was I did turn on some lights because the lighting in this room at this time it looked really grainy and not so good. So welcome. This is my lo-fi filming room tour. It was popularly requested that I show off the room. So here we are. So I'll take you to the door. When you walk in, you have this blanket hanging on the walls. We have it on the door just so it creates a little thick barrier of sound more soundproofing in my closet right here that I haven't put up yet but on the door itself I keep these badges so this first one is from Rhode Island Comic Con 2018 I love Comic Con especially Rhode Island Comic Con it is such a fun Hey, and uh, just love Comic Con. This is another batch from when I saw Phil Collins in Boston on the Not Dead Yet tour. I think this was 2018 as well, but I can't quite remember. Anywho, over here we have the heating system for the room pretty warm out, so not necessary for right now, but over here you can see we have a closet filled with storage that we won't go through at the moment, but I also keep my green screen stand over here, and thankfully it's lightweight, so you can easily transfer Transform, I transform and easily transport it from room to room. And I actually put it in the hallway when I'm streaming because it creates a nice barrier between the living room and the office. And then more of the closet space and my vacuum because it doesn't fit in the closet. <laughs> so over here, can see we have just some storage. This is a giant box of toilet paper. Didn't mean to buy it. We accidentally kept auto shipment on with Amazon and then toilet pa paper apocalypse happened. So it's actually kind of funny. We lucked out honestly with this giant box. <laughs> and then we have just a book for a Kamsha A plus certification notebook, my Bluetooth headphones, and my Chromebook. And then we have this older Sony TV. So I believe this is honestly about 13 years old. It is starting to be on its last leg, but it's great for a second monitor for streaming. And you can tell I have a PlayStation in here. So I have the GameCube set up, the PlayStation set up as well. It's right back there. It's going to be hard to tell. And you can game at the desk if you'd like. I also have a coffee cup that needs to go into the dishwasher. This is Good Mythical Morning, which is one of my favorite YouTube channels. I watch them nearly every day. Love, love, love Rhett and Link and the crew. And of course, like I said, PlayStation controller some gaming. Awesome. And then over 
here we have my filming equipment. So this is the Elgato HD60 capture card. And this is just for gaming or if you'd like to record uh, pretty much gaming and live streaming or anything along those lines. Love this thing so much. And then we have my prop box. <laughs> it's a little messy right now. Full confession, I did stream last night, so it does need to be organized a bit more. And I will go through it, don't worry. I have my streaming snack, which is some white cheddar bunnies. Really yummy snack. On its last leg though, might need to replenish it soon. And then, my favorite slippers in the world. <laughs> we have my uh, 3DO, which needs to be placed next to the desk for streams, but for right now, just to kind of give some space, I moved it over here. And next we have the shelf of nerdiness. So as you can tell, we have a whole bunch of nerdy goodies. This little Triforce with the Hyrulean symbol and some movies on the side lights up. And I love it because it reflects onto the wall. Let me turn it on if I'm easily able to. Here we are. There we go. So we have just little rubies reflecting on the wall with the Hyrulean Triforce. I love it. Next we have this Diva purse. Diva, as I said, is my main in Overwatch, so we had to get it. And on the back is, it's hard to do this one hand, more of Diva's sigils and her sponsors. <laughs> my Yeti wants in on the attention. This is my original Blue Yeti. I purchased this in 2013. It has lived a very good life. It still works, but I don't use it currently. Over here, we have more nerdy stuff, including a Mario plushie. An Overwatch hat, uh, an Ian plushie from Cowboy Bebop, and then the Super Mario cereal that launched with Super Mario Odyssey. It's empty. The cereal was tasty. It was a mixed berry cereal with marshmallows. Lucy O's, and this is Lucy O from Overwatch. This was a vanilla flavored cereal. Second shelf, we start to get into the books and the pops. So we have a few books here. Um, this is a great one. Everyone's an alien when you're an alien, too. And we have a Metroid wired pro controller for the Nintendo Switch, a few card games, and a few puzzles. This is an unopened Zelda puzzle from The Wind Waker. 550 piece puzzle. Oh! This is a great book. Let me grab it for you. All right, 
So this book is called How to Maximize Your Time, Techniques on Dealing with Your Daily Workload, Priority, and Managing Your Busy Priorities and Managing Your Busy Schedule. A highly effective way. You guys ready? Ta-da! It's a great book. Everyone should have one. <laughs> Alright. And then over here, we have a collection of Funko Pops. We have a few collections, honestly. But these are the little keychain Funko Pops. Reinhardt, McCree, Teresa, Torbjorn. Reinhardt again. And then we have a Mario Amiibo. A Diva Funko Pop with her mecha. And then we have Torbjorn, Zenyatta, Lucio, April Ludgate, and Ron Swanson. Bob Ross comes with a little raccoon friend. I love this pop so much. Then we have Diva, but she's glittery. So if you look on her body, she has a nice sparkle jumpsuit. Then we have some Pachamaris from Overwatch and my tarot cards. Now we get into the games. So, 3DS games, regular DS games, PlayStation 4, uh, original PlayStation, a switch light box in teal. A teal switch light. And then some DVDs, some Blu-rays, and a PlayStation 3. Let me zoom in on the uh, books and, excuse me, the DVDs so you guys can see what we have. Necessary Evil, Alfred Hitchcock, Drinking Buddies, Dead Space 3, Borderlands 2, Uncharted 3, Injustice, Katamari Forever, Final Fantasy, I Don't Know How to Read Roman Numerals, Gran Turismo 6, Little Big Planet, Fallout New Vegas, Beyond Two Souls, and Gran Turismo 5. There's some PC games back here. And then these, as I mentioned, are... PlayStation Vita games, and then these are PlayStation uh, games. So, Batman Arkham Knight, Rock Band 4, Dark Souls 3, Uncharted 4. Some good nerdy games. And over here is mostly my games. So, and one of these is mine, one of these is mine, one of these is mine, and then the rest of these are all mine as well. Animal Crossing, The Sims, Nintendogs. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Beyond that, we have some of our GameCube games. So Luigi's Mansion, Harvest Moon, The Legend of Zelda. Kirby Air Ride, Sonic Adventure 2, Smash, Mario, Sunshine, Tales of Symphonia, Mario Golf, um, and then PlayStation doesn't make it easy with their labels, huh? And then some other games that you can see right here. And then last but not least, we have some books. We have an old laptop, an old MacBook, another PlayStation. I think this is... I don't know what this is. I couldn't tell you. It's not mine. <laughs> That's what that is. And then I'll take you to the desk. So I hope you like the nerd shelf. I really love it. I think it suits me and I 
think it really shows off my personality very, very well. Down here, I have some prints that I got from Comic-Con. So this is Diva from Overwatch. Love this print. Nick Miner made this one, if you're able to see it. And then I have a print of the game Grumps. Same artist made this one. This is Ninja Sex Party from their 2017 tour. And then these aren't mine, so I'm not going to show you too many of them. But I think this is Lost in Translation. Uh, this is a photo of me meeting Patrick Stump of Fallout Boy. <laughs> My dad's a picture framer. So I actually have a bunch of framed stuff that needs to be hung in my windowsill I have this adorable picture or wooden I don't know what you call it sign that my boss made for me the day I moved out of my parents house and into my first apartment my boss gave this to me she wanted me to have a little something to hang up and now it sits in the back of my filming room every single day. I love it so, so much. So now let's show you the goodies. I have this gaming chair here and I have a pillow on it because I'm an old lady. My back hurts and I like to be comfortable. But this is by AK Racing. It's a very comfortable chair. I just prefer having some additional back support. And then I'll show you the desk. Not right now, honey. I'll be right out. I I said not right now. I'll be right out. <laughs> Sorry. So this is the gaming laptop that we use. It's a Predator. Uh, brand. It's actually on, so I'm gonna leave it as is. But this is what I use to stream ASMR with. And this is the new MacBook Pro, I think. Just recently got this for editing content. Now, the elephant in the room. Why do you have the bigger, blacker box on your desk? For when I'm streaming, I actually put the laptop on here until I get a proper laptop stand. So the fans on the bottom of the laptop are able to get uh, the correct amount of airflow in and out. And then a Razer mouse for gaming. And I love this. Um, mouse pad. Call me Zelda one more time. And it's a depiction of Link. This is the microphone I use for streaming ASMR. It is another blue product, but this time it's the blue Yeti Sherpa or Snowball. I'm not sure which. I think it's a Sherpa. Um, but it's a two-channel microphone, so there's omnidirectional and I think one additional directional. But I really like it for streaming because of the size. I think I gotta get the fluffy mic off. It's very small in comparison to the Blue Yeti. I really like it though. This is my streaming camera. It is a DSLR. It's a Canon Rebel T3, however, the autofocus on the camera stopped working, so we have to not touch it, otherwise you have to readjust the focus every single time you film. This is my ring light that I just got. It's very, 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 very bright. And this takes us to the prop box. 
so I keep my ASMR props in a little box so they're all together, including brushes, including hair brushes, and I have a, a flashlight that I keep in there as well. Over here, we have two different sets of fluffy ear mics, ear muffs for the 3DO. And then you start to see, hmm, what are these things? A good book to tap on, a smaller desk sized tripod for the 3DO. This needs to go in here. <laughs> And you can tell, we've got some lotion, some gloves for some ear massaging. If you've been on Twitch, you've seen this before. It's a dice box from Critical Role, but it's a fantastic ASMR trigger. And yeah, then just some things to tap on, spray bottle, and that's that. So, this is my filming room. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and tag some creators in the comments below, since I'm not too sure who's done this challenge already. But thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you so much to Karuna Satori ASMR for coming up with a fantastic ASMR challenge. I hope you enjoyed. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.